thing we haven't really talked about in regards to Nintendo Switch 2 is availability and how hard it might be to get your hands on one. Regardless of when it comes out, whether it's June, September, November, heck, maybe early 2025, we're not going to rule that out as well. I think we need to have a serious conversation here. And the reason we need to have this conversation is because we actually have a bit of news about how many Nintendo Switch 2s should be in supply for this current year or current fiscal year upcoming. So not like right now, obviously, but fiscal year that ends in March of 2025, or if you just want to focus on calendar year 2024. Look, this is something that we do need to talk about because back in 2020, it was very hard to get your hands on a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X and S. They were completely sold out. In fact, the Nintendo Switch was eventually sold out as well, including the Switch Lite. Now, there was more supply of Switch back then than there was, obviously, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. And PlayStation 5 went ahead to have shortages for well over a year, and a lot of that was due to increased demand from the pandemic, combined with all the manufacturing plants and and all that out there being at maximum capacity across the entire electronic industry. So that fast forwards to today in 2024, where while it's pretty easy to get your hands on a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X or S and a Switch, we have to wonder about the launch of this platform because assuredly, if Nintendo nails the marketing, if they have the games and they have a appealing system, it's going to probably be harder to get than the Nintendo Switch was back in 2017, which, yes, every new thing sells out at launch, but the Switch was quickly resupplied, and within a few months, the market stabilized. So what's going to happen this time around? Well, let's get to the news, and we're getting this from Takashi Machizuki from Bloomberg, and this came from an article we covered yesterday on his website, but we're not going to go to that article. This is just a subsection he's taken from it and put out on Twitter that I think deserves its own conversation. He says, display shipment data suggests Nintendo would make basically a more than 10 million of their next-gen consoles in the initial fiscal year. So fiscal year, again, runs through March of 2025. Unlike the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S that faced chip shortages at launch, Nintendo's would be much easier to find at stores. And, you know, when it comes to the OLED version, that's not going to be happening this year, which we've already heard the 8-inch LCD stuff. We talked about that yesterday. I want to focus more in on the supply and demand here because, again, this is suggesting that Nintendo's going to have over 10 million ready to go during its first fiscal year. Now, presuming they don't launch this system until late summer or into the fall, that does mean Nintendo is planning to sell an awful lot of systems quite quickly. Like, if it ends in March of 2025, but they don't launch till November, that's 10 million units in just four months. That would be crazy. Even if it ends up launching into September, you're still looking at about six months to sell 10 million. And while you still have the biggest, you know, sale period of the year in Japan and here in the U.S., that's still a hell of a lot of units for a brand new platform to move in roughly six months. And that does suggest that this thing is going to be more than plentiful in that first year. No, this is obviously based on screens, right? So for those who don't know, this person from the Omnia, uh, they are connected with screen manufacturers. So they're deep inside the manufacturing of the actual screens for the Nintendo Switch 2. So based on the amount that are going to be produced, you kind of extrapolate from there that Nintendo is going to have a bit more than 10 million made and ready to go for this you know, next fiscal year. Now, that does mean Nintendo is attacking something kind of head on that a lot of other companies have struggled with, and that is supply and demand at launch. Even setting aside the pandemic years of 2020, 2021, there has been issues in the past getting your hands on systems. Do you guys remember how hard it was to get your hands on Wii? Even DS had a run there for a bit where it was very difficult to get your hands on it. We had this issue crop up with an Xbox 360. Even the PlayStation 4 had about a six-month issue of shortages. And Nintendo looks like they're trying to combat this by just having so much supply, it is impossible for demand to really exceed it. Basically, it's going to be pretty easy to get your hands on the system. Now, if you have this FOMO of not having it like day one, yeah, well, let's not kid ourselves. We're still going to be fighting against scalpers day one. We're still going to be fighting, you know, to wait overnight at stores if you didn't get a pre-order in and all this stuff, like it's going to still be a struggle to get your pre-orders. They're going to go pretty quick. And yes, if you have a fear of missing out on day one Nintendo Switch 2, especially if it has that 
big exclusive Mario game that you want to be there day one, that is still going to be a realistic fear and something to honestly consider. But outside of that, we also need to just think about the fact that Nintendo is going to have restocks faster than we've seen in the past. Nintendo as well, by the way, when we talk about them having 10 million ready to go for a six month period at launch, that is an insane number. That is way higher than prior systems. Even the PlayStation 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, the DS, the 3DS, Wii, Wii U, Switch. None of these systems had 10 million ready to go in six months. So this also tells you that Nintendo is anticipating demand to be so high for the system that it might be the highest demanded system at launch that any of these companies has ever released. And that should let you know that they think Switch 2 is going to be at the level of Switch, if not somehow one day, five, six, seven years from now, surpass the Nintendo Switch in sales. They are anticipating demand out the gate that's insane. And if they're anticipating that level of demand, you know what that also means. And this is just something that's very obvious. You're not going to have demand without having the games to create it. Nintendo clearly thinks they have the lineup, the first three, first six month lineup for the Nintendo Switch 2 that's going to be driving all 10 million of those units to sell. So again, having this many ready to go is not only a confident strategy by Nintendo, it's also sort of indicating that they must have one hell of a plan and one hell of a game lineup. Of course, this is just my take on this information you guys can do with it what you will. This is an actual report. It's not a rumor. It's based on actual leaked information from inside of manufacturing for the screen technology. And you know what? In the end of the day, we don't really know what's going to go on. For those who don't know, we just had confirmation of the 8-inch LCD screen. We don't know what the LCD tech is going to be. No one's really talked about if it's going to be on the super cheap side, like the original Switch, or is it going to end up being a bit better? Because LCD technology has come a long ways where you can get mini LED and QLED and a whole bunch of different types of LCDs that are significantly better than, you know, what the Switch had. But there was also better technology for LCDs when the Switch came out and they didn't use it. But maybe the prices have come down and it's much more price competitive than just going with OLED. Also, the interesting thing is, like, they're not going to have an OLED version for this year. Also suggests that maybe this person is hearing that there is going to be a Switch to OLED upgrade years down the road. Time will tell. You guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below because I know that I am very excited about what's happening at Nintendo today. Now we just need this thing revealed, man. Come on. It's time, Nintendo. Get this bad boy out there before a massive leak or massive rumor ends up hitting the internet. That's what I'm saying. They're kind of skirting by right now. These are like fringe reports. Eventually, we're going to get like a manufacturing leak in a month or two. Uh, eventually, we're going to end up having some major game leak for the system. It's time, Nintendo. We got to get this thing announced and get ahead of what's about to happen. There's a, a tidal wave coming in in the next three, four months, and Nintendo wants to ride it, not get, you know, ran over by it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, quickly. Before we dive out, I want to let you guys know that we already have the next episode of the Nintendo Prime podcast ready to go for you guys to go set your notifications and everything. We'll put a link to that down in the description because here's the thing. It's going to be a big show. We're actually doing a Nintendo Direct Bingo. We have six guests. Obviously, we're all going to have our own bingo cards pre-filled out, and we're going to go over those bingo cards, and you guys can go ahead and fill out your own bingo cards as well. We're going to post a template for you guys on Monday for you to go ahead and fill out your own bingo cards ahead of our actual show and who knows you might want to tune in because a special giveaway might be involved if you submit your bingo cards and uh, have the most correct answers on it we'll talk about that this upcoming wednesday thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll catch you in that next episode <laughs>